Hey guys, so now we have a way of equipping and unequipping the items. We can also learn how we can attach it to the player and then remove it when we need to. So, for that we need to make one small change. Open up your player blueprint and here in the mesh, if you were to find skeletal mesh asset, double click on it. And if you go over the skeleton, you can see we are using metahuman base skeleton which is not good because we want to be using the Unreal one. So to change it is you can close this, browse to the asset, like check where it's located, click on this, and now just right click on this asset, find skeleton and assign skeleton. Now we need to find our mannequin, so SK mannequin. It's not the Unreal Engine 4 one, it's the first one, SK Mannequin. Don't worry about the missing bones for now or anything, just press accept. And in here, just make sure they're all selected and press OK. So that will change the skeleton, just save it all. And now if you were to open it again and open your skeleton, you now have a mannequin instead. So, uh, to change it to the male version, you can just pre preview mesh and change it here to SK Money. Doesn't really matter. Depends what character you're using. And now we need to create some sockets that will hold the weapons. So, we have socket names that we can use already created, and that that is in our blueprints. If you remember, we got item types enumeration here that holds all the item types we can equip. So instead of creating the new variable in our item info to hold socket names, we can use this. So just copy the first one, the main hand, go to your skeleton, and now we're going to create main hand on a side. So on one side you're going to have a main hand, on the other one you're going to have an off hand, we can create 200 on the back, and then shield can be on the back as well. That's all we need for now. So, right click on uh, spine 1, which is the lowest one, and add socket. Click on this, rename this, and control V, which is the main hand. So, rename it to main hand. And now you can right click on the socket, add preview asset, and select the uh, sword, iron sword we, cre we created before. Now, since your main hand is going to be right one, uh, we should be having it on the left side because when you draw a weapon, you usually drag it across the body, so it will look better. So just uh, you can, you know, what turn on the snapping, and then you can position it where you like. Right. When you're happy with that, you can just go back to your item types, now copy offhand, and right click on a spine one, add another socket, rename this to offhand, now right click, add preview asset, and our offhand was blade, rock blade. So, just position this one as well, on the other side, right, and once, once that's done, then you can just go to item types again, copy 200, go to skeleton, 200 now we will do on the back, so instead of the spine 1, we can use spine 5, which is the top one. So, right click on spine 5, add socket, rename this to 200, 200. now add preview asset, and search for, what was it, wooden mace, wooden, 
wooden club. You can obviously check with any assets as any asset, but this is the one we already created, so I'm gonna position it a little bit on the side of the body because you don't wanna be kind of running into it. Right. And now you can also uh, copy the shield. Right click on a spine 5 as well because we're going to have a shield on the back. And add socket. We name this to shield. We don't have any shield as an item created yet, so we don't have to position it now. So, save it. Now we have a sockets created. We can go to our player blueprint. Um, actually, open your widgets. Go to inventory icon widget. And in the graph, here we got the function that will the equip attach the weapon and everything. From here, after remove attached item, we can just copy this and we need to create a function out of this because if we just keep adding to to here it will get really messy so just control x and go to player blueprint create new function this will be called attach item uh, paste it here you don't need player reference because we are in the player item info slot index Actually, you probably have to relo reload the whole thing. Just leave at. And now get attached equipment info. Get it. That's our map array. Connect it to add. And now we need two inputs. We need the equipment slot index. So you can just, instead of here, you can just drag it from add. And that will create integer type input. We can just name it equipment slot index. And you can also drag the item info that we need and rename it to item info. Connect this one and now compile and save. If you go to your inventory icon again, here we can just get from player reference and attach item function which is now exactly the same as it was before we just need to connect the equipment slot index and item info is the one from this icon and connect it compile and save again and now in play blueprint now in this function we can add new things so first thing we're going to do, we're going to spawn the actor that we're attaching. So uh, spawn actor from class. Select this. Now drag from item info, break this open. And the class we will be spawning is the item class from the item. We need a spawn transform, so you can just, if you drag from here, you can just do make transform and I will, you can just create any location, but I can spawn it in like really weird place or anything. So just instead of that, drag again and do get socket transform and it will be the mesh. So you get the, our mesh transform. So wherever is mesh located, that's where it will, it will spawn. This one though needs a socket name. So as I mentioned, we got the socket names in the item types. All we need to do is do enum to string to convert it. And then once we converted it to string, we can convert it to socket name. And 
So now you spawn the actor. Uh, let's make it a little bit better looking. So it will get messy very quickly. Now, so we now spawn actor. Now we need to also attach it to the player. So to do that, we can drag from return value, attach actor to component. Uh, now the parent will be the mesh. So drag from the player mesh, connect it to parent, and the socket again will be this socket from here. So just drag it there. There we go. And also change these three to snap to target. Snap to target. Perfect. Compile and save. Um, so now we're spawning the actor from the item info and we are touching it to the component which is the player parent. Now if you save it and you actually go to the game pick up some items and now you equip the 200 for example you can see it's spawned on a player but it's got collision with the camera so it's giving you a bit of a trouble and also when you move you just fly around the space that's all because of the collision so we turn this off and now you need to go to your blueprints items and so we're spawning items from this item class so we just open the items bp and here on the item mesh go down uh, find collision collision presets and you can do custom collision and you turn off so you ignore the pawn which is us and you ignore the camera as well now compile and save uh, while you're here change this simulate si uh, simulation generate hit events as well that will help us later when we're hitting something with the weapons um, now if we were to play a game and equip the item should be all good so it gets it to the correct socket as well uh, but obviously we're not unequipping it or anything we just need to do that as well so now we got one map array here which holds all the item info of the attached equipment and we now also need to hold these attached actors somewhere so best way to do it again is to create one more map so just copy this one duplicate it Control d this one will be our attached actors attached actors and here you just need to change the second variable type to actor of object reference and compile and save and now we can drag this here get attached actors we will add to attached actors the first one map add and what we're adding is this return value, this actor that we spawned. Uh, so maybe you can do it before here. And now uh, we need uh, where we want to attach these actors, like what index. This is going to be our equipment slot index. So we will keep item info on one slot index and in the other map we will keep the attached actor on that slot index so it's easier to find and access. And now the actor is from the return value here. 
No. Just organize it a little bit. Press Q. Uh, this one. Uh, the equipment slot index, you don't have to drag all the way from there, just type get equipment slot index. And now connect it here. And once that's done, so we adding the actors, compile and save. And now we can go to our uh, removed attached item. So this is when we're removing the uh, item info from equipment slots, we can also remove, we can also remove the attached actors. So you get the attached actors and you find Uh, the actor on a slot index. So connect the slot index in here as well. I'll just get a new one. And then we destroy that actor. So destroy actor. Compile and save. Now on our inventory icon, we first we destroy destroy all the attached items, and then we then we attach them. So if you were to play the game now, you equip 200. You can see it's equipped. Now unequip it, and it's gone. Simple as that. Open these ones. Equip and then unequip, and it's gone. Also works with two hand and off hand and everything. So that's the really easy way of equipping the weapons and every everything. Um, armor on a player will be a little bit complicated, so we will do it later on. All right. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.